You know, I've tried many times to write texts and I'm maybe I'm too critical, but I just never like it enough. I found this guy called Dean Young. Loved his poetry for many reasons. So I decided to start writing music on, on that, on those words. It turned out to be quite a spoken word type of poetry. So it was a real challenge to actually find melodies that work on his text, on his rhythm. I started in like pop rock bands when I was a teenager. And the song was what we dealt with. And it was, it was you know, all sort of ear based. It was all about learning the song by ear and playing it by heart and so on. And I, I wanted to go back to that idea of uh, focusing on sound first and not, not focusing on the score as much, you know? I suppose it's not a, a very obvious songwriting still because it's very difficult to do that for me somehow. But it's still much more uh, singable than a lot of other things I do. <laughs> yeah. I worked with a friend of mine who programmed actually a vocoder for me that can do microtonality, which was another thing that I wanted to involve in this music. Microtonality is part of the thing from beginning. It's been a field that's been explored by classical composers and also by some improvisers. So I've done microtonality already with the trio and also with the solo. And now with, uh, with Matter 100, I'm just I'm expanding it into also electronic uh, sound. So we have Lena Hessels on the vocals, then there is Marta Varelis on keyboards, and then Macho Moretti on the drums and the synth. Andy Moore, he's playing the guitar, and then there's Samo Kutin, my fellow Slovenian, a guy who plays basically his own instrument. It's a hurdy-gurdy that he prepares. We did uh, three days of rehearsing in Slovenia in my village of 300 people. It was super nice. We also made, you know, we made a picnic, we went on the lake, we did some real bonding, which was for me important. And it was good to just connect before we start to play, to, to have some human level connection first. <laughs> 